We've all had an uncomfortable, upset stomach that we hope will pass. But what if there's more to it? Well, here to share the science of SIBO is our gut health guide, board certified gastroenterologist at Cedar sinai Medical Center, Dr. Mark Pimentel. Welcome to the show, Dr. Pimentel. Thanks. It's great to be with you today. What is SIBO and how is it connected to IBS, which you also happen to be an expert on the topic? Yeah, well, SIBO is an acronym, and it stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. Uh, and basically what that means is your small intestine, which is the longest length in the middle of your gut where all the food is absorbed, shouldn't contain that much bacteria. But in SIBO, it's, the bacteria levels have gone way up. As a result, they start eating your food and producing symptoms. We know now that there's this connection between SIBO and irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome affects 45 million people, and we think up to 60% of irritable bowel syndrome patients suffer from SIBO. At least that's what the data suggests now. 